Let me begin by telling you a story, a story of Shukla family. One fine morning, uh, almost a decade ago, Mrs. Shukla, a 50-year-old college teacher, she walked into my office, flanked by two grown-up children of hers. Uh, Mrs. Shukla looked uh, stressed to me because she had just found out that she had a breast lump. And the kids were scared for the mother's life. Scared because they had lost their grandmother, maternal grandmother a few years ago, to breast cancer. Of course, this was a cause for concern for all of them. The grandmother actually was treated in our own hospital a few, almost a decade ago, or 15 years actually, uh, when she was about 60 years age. And initially, she was treated for a stage 3 breast cancer, which unfortunately later on spread to her brain, and eventually she succumbed to it almost seven years after her di diagnosis. Well, for Mrs. Shukla, having examined her at length, I could fortunately reassure her that she, unlike her mother, had an early stage, stage one breast cancer, which I thought we would be able to cure. And we would be able to do that even without the mutilating surgery of mastectomy, which means complete removal of the breast, because that is what her mother had to undergo. But because this lady, Mrs. Shukla, detected her tumor very early, we would be able to cure her even without that mutilation. And indeed, we were fortunate that we were able to do exactly that uh, with means of a breast conservation surgery, which means she did not need to undergo complete removal of the breast. Indeed, she is now healthy, alive, and she's one of the advocates of early breast cancer awareness and early detection. And I'm thankful to her and to many other women who are helping us in this mission. So what is the message of this story? The moral of this story is that within the same family, the mother succumbed to breast cancer while the daughter survived. What was the difference? The difference lies in early detection for the daughter. Indeed, early detection was the key, the key to saving lives and saving breasts. Sadly, a large proportion of our Indian society is not aware of these facts. There's many women in our society are ignorant about uh, that breast cancer is a common disease and various aspects about early detection of this disease. Worse still is that many of them are aware and yet they ignore their symptoms. They're aware that they could be harboring a sinister disease in their breasts, but for various misconceptions, most of it for the fear of losing their breasts, they conceal their disease, they ignore it, they do not take timely treatment. For many, the diagnosis of breast cancer still brings the fear of losing life, and for most others, the fear of losing their breasts. In other words, going flat, going flat either on the ECG lines, that is losing life, or going flat on the bust line, that is, the fear of losing their breasts, is what they fear most. The good news is, it is no longer necessary for breast cancer patients to go flat on their bust to preserve life. In other words, we can now cure majority of them even while conserving their breasts. So, the good news is, if we detect cancers in early stages, which is stages 1 and 2, Majority of breast cancer patients can be cured for life with an intact breast, with an intact femininity and intact dignity. So the moot question is how to achieve early stage diagnosis of breast cancer in majority of Indian women. But then let me first focus on some vital statistics. Breast cancer is the commonest cancer affecting women across the globe as all in our country. One in 29 women in India would face this disease during their lifetimes. Every year, more than 2 lakh women are diagnosed with this disease in our country. Sadly, almost half of them succumb to this disease. In other words, only about 50% of all breast cancer patients that are treated in India today, they can be cured. And this proportion of women 
who are cured of breast cancer can easily be increased to up to 90% if you are able to achieve early stage diagnosis in majority. So what would it take for our country to achieve early stage diagnosis and so cure in majority of the women? The answer is awareness and breast screening. The two vital steps of achieving early stage diagnosis and cure for majority of women are awareness about breast cancer, raising awareness, making all Indians, women and men alike, aware of the disease and its various aspects, and to ensure that vast majority of women in our country participate in breast screening. Promoting breast cancer screening would ensure that all women at risk of developing breast cancer, they undergo breast examination periodically. And if in case they have to develop breast cancer during their lifetimes, the disease will be caught rather early in this stage. And so they would stand a good chance of cure. So let me then talk about breast cancer awareness in a little bit of more detail. What do we Indians need to know about or what do we need to be aware about? Firstly, we all need to be aware that breast cancer is a common disease. It can occur to just any woman. Nobody is immune to this disease. Secondly, we all need to be aware of the warning signs or the early symptoms of breast cancer so that in case one develops one of those, they are not ignored and one seeks medical attention without any delay. A painless lump in the breast is the commonest symptom of breast cancer, especially if it is of recent onset and especially if it has started after say 35 to 40 years of age. Uh, other symptoms of breast cancer include painless lymph node in the armpit or underarm area, changes in the breast skin such as uh, an excoriation or a discoloration or thickening of the skin, an ulcer which is not healing or changes of the nipple such as indrawing of the nipple, destruction of the nipple or scab formation or discharge from the nipple, especially if it is bloody or blood mixed. Further, women and the society as a whole, we all need to be aware of what are the risk factors that are associated with causation of breast cancer. Risk factors, by the way, are facts associated with our lives or our bodies or the environment, which put a human body at a greater risk of developing a disease. For example, smoking, is a strong risk factor for causation of lung cancer. In context of breast cancer, these risk factors can be internal or personal in nature, or they can be environmental or external. Important risk factors include the female gender itself. A woman is 100 times at a higher risk of developing breast cancer compared to a man. Advancing age is another risk factor. In India, before 35 to 40 years age, the risk of breast cancer is much lesser. But as the age advances, especially beyond 55 years age, the risk of developing breast cancer is significantly higher. One's own genetic composition plays an important role in causation of breast cancer. There are certain families where number of family members have cancers of various natures and possibly breast cancers too. So if two or more female members in your family have had breast cancer, you may be significantly higher risk of developing cancer yourself compared to the others. Not bearing any children or giving birth to the first child after age of 35, this may be a risk factor for developing breast cancer. Not having breastfed any child or breastfeeding just one child for a short while is a risk factor. Conversely, women who have breastfed at least two children for a minimum of six months they stand a much lesser risk of developing breast cancer compared to the others. Breastfeeding, by the way, is the strongest protection that we know against breast cancer. Being overweight or obese and following a sedentary lifestyle are risk factors for developing breast cancer. Conversely, staying close to your ideal body weight, exercising regularly, they are kind of protection against developing breast cancer. And there are other lifestyle issues like usage of tobacco in any form, excessive consumption of alcohol or excessive consumption of red meats. These are again risk factors for developing breast cancer. While these risk factors, they increase the chances of a woman 
for developing breast cancer slight bit not every woman who has these factors associated with their lives will develop breast cancer eventually and also the converse is so true there are number of women who would not have any of these risk factors associated with them yet they will develop breast cancer so these risk factors should not be overplayed or underplayed so now let me come to next issue of awareness because the risk factors are so uh, unreliable you cannot really rely on which women will develop cancer and which will not it is essential that each and every woman should exercise something to ensure if in case they develop a change in their breast it is detected right at the beginning and this can be done by self examination of the breast practicing self examination should be done by every girl every woman they should learn how to do it systematically to examine her, their own breasts and practice it regularly religiously month after month starting around 20 years of age breast self examination or bse can be done easily by everyone uh, it involves no expense no pain no inconvenience no cost and no shame either because the woman doesn't need to go and expose herself to anyone it should be done mid cycle and by women who who have not yet attained menopause and uh, not during the days while she is having her menses essentially during the breast self examination a woman is expected to inspect her own breasts exposing herself in front of a mirror in the privacy of her bathroom or living room and she should look for any changes in the shape the size or surface of the breasts including any puckering or discoloration of the skin or thickening of the breast skin or any changes in her nipples next she is then expected to palpate or feel her own breasts now this is done with the flat part of the fingers and systematically to look for any change in the texture or any lump within the breast or any other change in the breast or the armpits or any other symptoms that we have talked about a little earlier so one fact that needs to be reemphasized is that majority of symptoms that can occur in the breast lumps pain other symptoms they are not very specific to cancer in fact a majority of symptoms in a breast are not due to cancers for example i told you or a painless lump is the commonest symptom the fact is only 1 in 10 such lumps is because of cancer rest of the 9 are not because of cancer the most unfortunate part is that for anyone it is impossible to tell which of the lumps is because of cancer and which is not and that emphasizes the fact that every symptom must be taken seriously and must be evaluated none of them should be ignored anyone who has a symptom must visit a doctor get it evaluated completely without any delay so far i have talked about the importance of breast awareness let us now focus on the role of breast cancer screening and how it is helpful in saving lives and saving breasts screening is a process with which doctors can identify a health problem even before it manifests even before it causes any symptom it is something similar to preventive maintenance servicing of your motor car even while your car may be f- driving just fine yet you take it to the garage once every few months for a preventive maintenance similarly a woman usually after 40 years of age she may not have any symptoms in the breast yet she should go to a doctor once every year and have her breast examined and if required mammography or another kind of imaging of the breast done and this is what breast screening means the two major ways in breast screening is done are clinical breast examination by a doctor and mammography clinical breast examination involves a physical examination of the breast by a trained doctor usually a surgeon or a gynecologist uh, who would be able to detect a tiny or a subtle sign or in the breast which the woman herself would not be able to decipher a mammography on the other hand is a specialized form of x-ray of the breasts and using this one can detect even the tiniest of lesions which may not be palpable which may not be felt by a woman herself or even by a doctor having done this screening many lesions can be detected and if required the doctors would then undertake the next step that is of biopsy there are number of misconceptions about breast cancer a common one being that biopsies can be harmful 
to the contrary, biopsies are extremely helpful. Needle biopsy helps us treat majority of breast cancers with so much less inconvenience and cost. Had we not had the needle biopsies, we would have to resort to a surgery just to arrive at diagnosis. If a patient is detected to be having a breast cancer, she then needs a multidisciplinary comprehensive treatment. Such treatments, they require expertise from a team of doctors, including a surgeon, a radiation oncologist, a medical oncologist, various diagnosticians, a radiologist, pathologist, nuclear medicine expert, and some other doctors. And it is ideal that these treatments are done under one roof at a center where all the expertise is available. Breast cancer treatment today is individualized to the individual needs of an individual patient. And this is dependent on the stage or the extent of disease and the biology of the disease. A judicious mix of surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, hormone treatment, biological treatment, immunotherapy, all of this may be required. But then, not every form of therapy is required for every patient. As I said, individualized treatment is advocated by expert oncologists based on the stage of the disease and the biology of the disease. In early stages of breast cancer, a vast majority of breast cancers can be cured while conserving the breast. This is what we call breast conserving surgery, which involves a specialized form of surgery to remove only the tumor and a small part of the breast and not the whole of the breast. Often, we breast surgeons, we use a plastic surgical procedure to reconstruct or remodel the remnant of the breast so that we can ensure that the shape, the contour, the symmetry of the breast is maintained while the cancer has been rid of. Such operations where we uh, perform an oncological surgery and a plastic surgery together, we call them oncoplastic breast surgery and is quite commonly performed today. Radiotherapy too is required and it's vital in ensuring that majority of tumors after excision or breast conservation surgery, they do not recur and the patient is cured for life. So friends, I've talked to you about the role breast cancer awareness and screening can play in saving lives and breasts. Essentially, the two put together, they help us diagnose breast cancer in early stages, that is stages one and two. But as they say, the proof of the pudding lies in eating. And the proof in this respect comes from the data available from all across the globe, as also our own data, which indeed proves that the probability of curing is much better uh, in patients who have stages 1 and 2 cancers compared to those who have advanced stage cancers. We divide breast cancer into four stages. Stage 1 is assigned to cancer which is small and which is limited to the, within the breast. And if cancer is treated at this stage, almost 100% of all women who are undergo complete treatment can expect to be cured. A stage second cancer is one where the tumor is small, but it may have spread to some lymph nodes in the underarm area or the armpit. Even at this stage, if complete treatment is undertaken, close to 90% of all women with this stage of disease can be cured. Stage three is assigned to a disease where the tumor may be large, it may have spread to the lymph nodes in the armpit, or else it may have involved the skin over the breast or rib cage underneath. At this stage, if treatment is undertaken, 70% of all women can expect to be cured. But if the disease is detected only at stage four, which means it has spread to other body parts, such as the liver, the lungs, the bones, then unfortunately a vast majority cannot be cured, just about 20% can be cured. So indeed, it makes sense that breast cancer is detected and treated at the earliest possible stage it is therefore imperative for all stakeholders, the society, the medical fraternity, the government, the civil society to come together to make concerted efforts to raise awareness of breast cancer in our communities, to encourage breast self-examination by all women beyond 20 years of age, and to ensure women in all age groups above 40 years participate in breast screening. And in case a woman is detected to be having a breast cancer, then she must undertake complete treatment patiently. Of course, it may not be easy, as you have heard from the cancer survivors earlier, but at the end of the whole uh, arduous journey, there is 
light at the end of the tunnel. Breast awareness, screening, early detection and comprehensive treatment can help us save lives and breasts and uh, for majority of women in our society, we can ensure they can live a long productive life. Thank you so much.